The joystick is all about control of the vessel. You're coming into a tight dock, there's a bunch of other boats around. Sometimes you just want to hold the boat in one position. You want to know, I've got control of this vessel and be confident about it. The joystick puts the levers, the steering wheel, all in one device. I can maneuver this boat wherever I want it to be, or I can just hold it right here and get everything ready and feel like I'm in control controls the shift, the steering, and the throttle of the engines. It's one device that is controlling both the engines. And so it sends a command to the various modules on the boat, and then the engines steer and throttle and shift according to where I place the joystick. There's what's called a personality, and that makes this joystick work perfectly for this vessel. The joystick only works on twins, triples, and quads. We even do single and dual helm as well and it has to be DTS, so our Verado engines are all capable with the joystick. Even our Mercruiser DTS engines are capable. When you come into the dock or you want to just take over with the joystick anywhere, you're pulling up near a piling to go fishing, you put the levers in neutral, you reach over to the joystick, and the joystick will become active as soon as you move it. The joystick, the further you push it, the more RPM it gives it. So if you want to go sideways, you push the boat sideways. The joystick represents the boat. So if I want to go forward, you press the joystick forward. If you want to steer, you twist the top of the joystick and it steers while you go forward. And the further I push it, the more RPM. All the joysticks give our system between about 1500 and 2200 RPM depending on the engine and the application. So it's not a wide open device, right? You're not going to go cruising down the intercoastal with the joystick. It's for those tight, low RPM quarters where you really need control of the boat.